So, you had abused me. Okay, you are alive. I told you that where your right ends, that's where my right begins. You have the right to protest. I have the right to resist. And these are the, the, the issues. You have the right to protest. Yes, when you protest, you obstruct me. My child might be sick and might want medical attention. You obstruct me from getting to the hospital, I will resist you. You obstruct my children from going to school or to for their training, I will resist you. You block the road so that I will not pass, I will resist you. Yesterday, my car windscreen was broken. I had every right to resist it. I had every right to resist you. You don't have the right to close down the road, to deny me access to medical uh, uh, facilities, medical help. You do not have the right to deny me uh, access to the mosque. You do not have the right to deny me access to my house. So you must know this. People can pretend and not to know and not to tell you. I will tell you because I will resist you. And I'd always resisted. And in my life, I've been leading protests. And I don't make people uncomfortable when I lead pro uh, uh, protest. My life is protest. That's my business. Protest is my business. Now, yesterday that my people were coming and they stoned and people's lives have just been wasted. From what I have counted from the social media, about 17 persons have been killed across Nigeria. Which of them is a relation? You that is a convener, is an organizer, which of them is a relation? Billions of Naira worth of properties have been destroyed. Which one is your property? We all chose democracy over all other systems of government and ideology. And democracy says that, look, every four years, you will elect a new person. If you are not satisfied with the person you have, so that there will be stability in government, we can experiment for some time, and finally, we will get a new government. The Ottoman Empire was a very big empire, almost controlling the world until it fell into decay and became the sick man of Europe. <laughs> Erdogan came. Erdogan came. And today, Turkey is competing with most of the countries in Europe on favorable terms after several circles of elections. Iran was only known for extravagant parties, extravagant celebration, the etc., uh, etc. Et Iran was not known for science and technology. Today, Iran is known for science and technology. is circle commitment of government. If the people are not committed, vote them out. Like I said, I'm a supporter of Ahmed Bola Tinibu. I'm not an APC member. I maybe I will never become an APC person because it, I don't share the same ideology with them. 
those who are close to me know me. Tell me which of my word that I don't stand by shine on. Or you are the one that will create the word for me. So this, this, these are the things that we are going to look at. You led people out and the people died. So if somebody is looting property, destroying vehicles, doing all sorts of things, it is his right to destroy other people's vehicles. When I see uh, Igbo people name, I know Ivanchi, this thing. Why should I be ashamed of myself? You come and you abuse people. I now I'm now the one who control network. Tinibu was elected again. Tinibu was elected. And Ishala Taala is going to stay for the next four years. Whatever you like do, he will spend the next four years. When it is close to the end of his tenure, if he did not satisfy you, you are free to vote him out. Democracy is part, uh, protest is part of democracy. You are talking of America. I saw you, where mad people can become president. Where somebody like Trump can become president. You are talking of, so the civil rights administration, where they beat people, kill people, throw people into prison. You see, Nigerians don't read. They just take pieces of information and think that they are intelligent. They don't read. They don't make research. If you make research, most of the things that you say about me, you will not say it. I'm a disgrace to my people. I'm the highest honored person in my land. Calabar people are one of the most educated people in this world. In my small, tiny village, Obama, we have more than 40 professors. So if we are talking of Western education, we have produced governor, we have produced deputy governor, speaker, deputy speaker, and all sorts. And I am the highest honored person, not Obama, in the whole of Calabar Island, beside the Amainawa of Calabar. I am the Calabar, I'm a great baby. Calabar no more lowy. Sebrum about the Messiah, all these were given to me by Amainapos, who are professors. I have been honored in several Igbo communities. Several. So, a man who is a disgrace. This one I'm talking, not just head of the Ediabali group of houses. The whole Calabar people gathered and made me Amakri, the strength of King Amakri. Who should they talk come outside? Where I come from just now? Where you they now come meet you? Always are they challenging people now. Where you they? Make I come meet you there. When I come now, you go wrong go DSS, go wrong go police. So are they threatening you? Now that one are they like now. Just tell me where you they. You make life difficult for the ordinary Igbo people. Any uh, OB that is one of the conveners of, of the protest that was on television throughout yesterday. Where is she from? Is she not Igbo?
Is she not Igbo? Igbos are not involved. Always. You you plotted coup, killed Northerners and Yoruba, left their people. Now you urge people, you bribe people to go and demonstrate. To go. We have, I have evidence, not that we have, in Abuja here, where millions were given to poor people, poor Northerners. All these beggars, they, 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 they mobilized to come and demonstrate. They gave them money, asked them to go and demonstrate. Maybe some of them are dead now. We try as much as possible to dissuade them. In Suluja, everywhere in Abuja, they pay people. In Portaco, they paid about 60, 70 people to come out and demonstrate. <laughs> Say, come to Bini. I go come Bini, yo. Oh, God, you tell me where you did for Bini. I go come there. Then I go see you. I go know you. It's not very far. And the day I go come Bini, the old Bini go know that I did there. Kombini, Ibo man say Kombini. Paid money to people in Suleja and in other areas, Zuba. They paid money to people. And the people are saying they were paid money five, some two, two thousand, some some three thousand, just like that. Randomly, it depends on the group that organized you and brought you. They paid money for people to die. Why they were in their shop waiting for the people to die, and the people to not know <laughs> after collecting the money, looted their shops, looted all that Igbo people's shop. Looted other people's Igbo's, uh, Igbo people's shop. A few Igbo people who are anarchists, you know where You people who are busy, you know where You people who are busy uh, invading banks, POS, everywhere, killing people and looting and stealing and robbery so that you use this money to support insurgencies and civil disobedience all over uh, Nigeria. And a lot of people fell for it. I don't know how far it was in Kano, but I know in Abuja that you people paid money to people to demonstrate. My friend who workshop was burned down, he's an Igbo man. The number of cars that were burned down at his workshop, <laughs> you can't believe it. He's an Igbo man. Today you, 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 you sent him out of business. You are bankrupting. What are you looking for? A P2P, one million times, a P2P will never win a life. That I know very well. One million times, a P2P will never win a life. What did Ahmed Bola Tinibu do to you people? Oh, Muslim, Muslim ticket. But today, his government is dominated by Christians. Muslim, Muslim, I'm a Muslim. We fought, I voted for him. Two things. He's my friend, and he's a Muslim. I voted for him. And you are saying, Muslim, Muslim ticket, oh, this, this, this. Now, the same people who are talking, Christians are dominating this government. And you are no longer praising him for that. That, oh, even though we, we, we persecuted him, we preached against him in the churches, we did all sorts against him. Now he has won. You all juicy, uh, 
places. All places where chop chop day, na Christian day there. We know how corrupt Nigeria is. We know how corrupt Nigeria is. Everywhere where there is chop chop, that is where you put Christian FRS, this one, that place, Christians are dominating it. At least give him credit for that. We Muslims are saying, ah, but we voted for you, we quarreled for you, we did everything for you, so why are Christians taking all the important positions in our government? But we did not. We did not. I was talking about Tinibu before even Tompolo contract or anything. Then you don't know me. If I want to fight for Tompolo contract, I will not hide. I will fight for it and collect it. No matter how long it takes me. Ibo man, now you are, you are in support of Tom. Is it not the same Tompolo also against the demonstration? So you talk anyhow. Why don't you people just keep quiet for uh, this thing and be honest? For once. You make some of us feel bad that we have Igbo blood flowing in our veins. I kept on saying this. So we are you, where are below the face? You, where are below the face? Your belly the face back. For once. You come to somebody's wall, you abuse him. When the person uh, abuse you back. Which brother soul? The old people will go protest, don't the hundred. After you paid them. Which brother? Did they bring protest to my place? Did they destroy anything in Portaco? They would have received. They know me now. Maybe you have not read about me. For how many years in Portaco, I held Portaco down. Before Tinibu trauma reached. I've been talking about his election. That time was their contract. You think these things you say, this cheap black male will, will get to me? The cheap black male, hey, Tampolo, he want Tampolo this thing, will get to me. The Intenable Primary, did he give Tampolo the contract? After he won election, doing his reveal, did he have power to give Tom Polo the crown? I stood, I was in the court, I was in this place, I did everything. Until today that you claim he has given Tom Polo contract, I'm still standing. I'm still talking about him. I'm still fighting. I'm still not at him. Because I know what he did for me. I'm not an ungrateful person. I don't betray my friends. I allow them to do whatever they like. Their conscience and nature will judge them. So it is not your little noise that will make me not to support somebody who stood by me. If at that time he did not stand by me, Maybe one of passenger, but maybe I will not even be here talking so that you insult me. But you have seen the result. You have seen the result and the consequences of the demonstration. A lot of people are regret. I know somebody who was carrying the demonstration on his head. We must protest, we must protest. A protest on his head. Yesterday, I saw his post. Ordinarily, I would have said, but why? He don't reach you. But I didn't say so. He has come to his senses. 
and he said, oh, Igbo people, after instigating the demonstration, did not do any protests in their place, but they are part and parcel in the forefront of the protests in other people's land. Shame. You keep on causing problems for innocent, honest Igbo people looking for their livelihood where they are. Because you will always remain loud. Loud. And you think that you, you can force people to vote one of you as president. It's not going to be possible. You can't force anybody to vote you people as president. <laughs> it was a good behavior. So, it's, 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 we, we should stop this thing. We are killing ourselves. So much bitterness. Bitterness against whom? Who are you being bitter against? The job people who are killed? Like all other people, in the course of this, the Biafran war, my family was devastated, it was affected. It was affected. My family was affected. My uncle, King of Calaval, abdicated his throne. And today, for the first time in our history, he's buried in a foreign land. My grandmother was almost publicly executed by Nigerian soldiers who came who took control of our community in 1968. My father almost got lost as a Biafran soldier in the medical corps. At that time, he was community health worker. He was a community health worker. <laughs> At that time, he was a community health He was in the medical corps. He came back home oh, oh, one year after the war. The Honorable Justice would not forbid that my father I was a Biafran soldier. He's a Biafran veteran. What did you sacrifice for Biafran? What did your family sacrifice for Biafran? My grandmother, my own mother was.